go. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. There it is. Oh. 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 <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Lilia. But I mean, Lilia in the mid lane, the, the problem that we're going to face here. So we've we've gone for the Electrocute, which I feel like is going to work pretty well with the kit. But going up against the Velkaz mid, I mean, the Velkaz mid with Conqueror is going to be rough. It's going to be really, really rough. <laughs> but we are where we are. Now, the good news is that... Lilia is pretty damn broke. We haven't actually looked at the skin yet. We looked at the base skin. Ooh! Why is she so freaking adorable? Riot, you can't keep doing this to me with these skins. This is so cute! And then the bird falls asleep. <laughs> I love it! Oh, this is so good! Wait, Velkaz can run Conqueror? To be honest, I have no idea. I literally have no idea how Velkaz does with Conqueror. No clue. Oh, this is even a good emote spin. <laughs> it's the best champion. This is the best champion in the game. Hands down. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, man. I'm gonna take so- I really debate if I should have been going for, like, the, um, the Corrupting Pot here. Just because we're facing a Velkaz. Oof. So I'm curious what the one-shotting potential is on this champion. Oof. So, the good news about Lilia is that, of course, she does have- I feel like building tank on her would not be bad because, of course, her passive does give you 5% max health, um, damage over three seconds so let me just give it a sec to read it but i'll show you all what she can accomplish oh! Oh! stop it stop it ow god velkaz damage man oh crap see our passive so they apply dream to stealing five percent max health damage over three seconds so, man, I feel like if you actually played her top against the tank and you built kind of tanky, you'd actually be pretty good in that situation, I would feel. Like, I kind of wonder if I'm going to struggle against other spellcasters like a Velkaz. Because Velkaz can poke the living hell out of me where I can't really? It's kind of my one dilemma is that Velkaz is just going to be able to not get hit by my stuff. Oh, except for the fact that he just got hit by it! And yes, I'm very proud of that. Okay. So, of course, the Q is basically like a Darius Q, and you want to hit on the outer edge of that. Oh! Oh! The W is kind of like... The best way that I've been able to describe it is her W is kind of like the third Aatrox Q. Where she kind of like launches herself in the air and like lands on us in a circle. And if you hit people in the middle of the circle, it does more damage. That's the best way I can think about that. And then her E throws a ball that's actually like global, which is insane. Oh. Um, but it stops if it hits a wall or a champion. And then if you hit the E, then you can activate your R. Well, whoever's got Dream Dust on them. So if I hit them with any ability, I can then cast my R. And then that puts them to sleep. Kind of like a Zoe Sleepy Trouble Bubble is the best way I can think about it. Woohoo! Running away. Oh, God. Really running away. Oh, he took a tower shot, though. 
Oh! 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 The damage! And the... Oh, I don't have enough. Oh, and I missed the kit. Or do I have enough? Now I have enough. The long range E of destiny. Come on. Let get get hit by get hit by destiny. Yay! Oh, that did nothing. <laughs> that did literally. That did fuck all. Oh. Oh, the jukes. Oh, the jukes. The jukes. I'm so talented. Okay, she's got no mana now. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Not bad. We escaped. We didn't get an assist, which I mean, that's kind of annoying. But I feel like I'm gonna go B. Let's go with a lost, ch or do we go for the Rod? Let's go Rod of Ages, actually, just to get the tankiness going. Because somebody was suggesting Rod of Ages the last time. So I feel like this is probably a smart way to build. Rod of Ages into just like straight up one shot potential, I'm thinking. And let's watch this. So watch it go. Watch it go. You ready? Oh, it didn't even get me a CS. What a pointless ability. <laughs> oh, I wish that slowed or something. Damn it. It increased my movement speed, which was great. I thought I might have been able to chase that one. Damn, that would have been so sweet if I could have caught that Velkaz there. But we couldn't. Go run into Leandris. Yeah, I think that's probably a pretty good way of building this. And the E doesn't slow. I was really hoping the E slowed. If it slowed, I was good. The game plan was there, people. Okay. I mean, now I've got my ulti. Which makes ganks actually really, really good. So I might try to go up here. Oh, it does slow by 25%. Oh, so I might have been able to do something. Oh. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! The ganking potential of Lilia, ladies and gentlemen. You land the E, you proc the R. I am now moonwalking. I just wanted to let you fine folks know that Riot has outdone themselves. <laughs> Are we stuck like this? Are we now- oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> that was way too good. I love that. Love it. Okay. Whoop. What the hell was that? I know! I don't know what that was, but it was funny. Oh god. Okay, so Lilia's right there. Oh, man. She was definitely moonwalking. I mean, that was a really good gank, but that just kind of shows what Lilia can do. Oh, God. Her Q is going to take some getting used to. It does proc very, very quickly. So if you're not, like, in position to hit the outer edge, it's not like Darius where you can kind of, like, set it up. You kind of have to, like, use it when you know that you're going to hit the outer range of it. Okay. Woo. I mean, I've got pretty decent damage. I do have to figure out, though, how much I need for the Rod of Ages, because I feel like I want to go back the moment that I've got that. Woo. Woo. Oh, how does that still hit me? Uh oh. Please don't hurt me. Ow. Good. God, that damage, though. Okay. So, I mean, the Lilia was around here? Hmm. Uh oh. This is not good. I'm dead. Oh, God, come on now. He still had six. I guess they must have had this warded. That's super unfortunate for me. I thought I might have been able to get a kill on her because my ultimate was just coming back up, but my ultimate wasn't ready! If the ultimate was available, I would have killed him. No questions asked. That Lilia would have been dead! But alas, here I am. So, 58 to... what am I at? 55. 
I mean, not bad. Could be worse. Could be way worse. <laughs> okay. Um, shuck it. Oh. Oh, there's the flash. All right. Okay, we got the flash. I'm not gonna complain about that. Oh. Oh god. I mean, we kept him here. We get. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All planned, baby. All planned, right? Totally planned. To we knew exactly what we were doing. Knew exactly what we were doing. Okay. So getting the kill there, that's awesome. Lilia was like around. Yeah, there it is. Ow. Oh god. I feel like I've got more damage. Oh, never mind. No, I don't. You're gonna have ultimate though. I'm leaving. I'm done. Get me out of here. Oh, it's my Velkaz. <laughs> didn't even. I didn't even realize it was my Velkaz. I just thought it was Velkaz coming back to lane. I'm like, okay, I gotta leave. They're gonna have vault, and I'm gonna die. I mean, it's still a good time to go B because we got our Rod of Ages out of that one. So I'm not complaining. Man, I wonder if you like max this. Would it do enough damage to even like warrant a max? Probably not. Let's see if we can make some magic. Look at it go, look at it go, look at it go, look at it go, look at it go. Boom! It, do it does nothing. Literally nothing. <laughs> oh, that still hits. Damn. Okay. Okay, there's the Soraka ultimate. At least we know where that is. Oof. I mean, the good news is that... Screw that one up, actually. Or did I? All planned, right? All planned! It 100% was not planned. But I'm happy that my Velkaz was in the area. That made for a very happy accident. Okay. So, I mean, I got one plate, so I feel like I'm just gonna... Yeah, Lily is already here. So, I'm just gonna back... I'm just gonna back off. That was an Ezreal ult. Okay. Let's just get out of here. I just want to leave. I just want to leave. Okay, so Leandries. That's the... That's the build, apparently. We should actually go for our boots first, just to get that movement speed going, right? Let's just get the movement speed going. Her movement speed on passage suggests hat. I mean, true. Um, okay, let's throw- I'm just gonna throw this every single time. You know, it's- it's free damage if I land it. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> it's so demoralizing when you miss it, though. That's the problem. Ow. I mean, you can kind of use her E like a, um, almost like a pseudo Nico. Ow, my god. Ready for the Kobe? Never mind. We didn't even need the Kobe. Okay, that was a good flash. Like the um, the Lilia got. Oh, oh, it was so close. But we're gonna go for the E. No! <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do now. I'm panicking. I'm panicking now. Here it is. Here it is. Damn it! No, no. <laughs> I, I am trying way too hard to get this to work. I feel like my W is doing nothing right now. Okay. I really want to get this kill. I really want 
to get this kill. <laughs> Come on. No! Oh, God! Well, I mean, at least I know that the Lily is on that side. Uh-oh. Woo! Ah! Three, mon two, mon one. Ah! Damn it! <laughs> I mean, technically, it still works, you know? We got the kill onto the. Oh, oh, uh oh. Run, Twigger! Run! Boy, this Velkaz matchup is not exactly the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> I mean, it's still working. Okay, there we go. We got a CS. We got a CS with the E. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's go back. What are we gonna buy? I think we still let's let's uh let's go for this and then let's look over to the Leandries. That's the idea, people. How's Lilia mid? Um, against like a mage like Velkaz, she seems to be a little bit more rough. Uh, because she's of course really tough to get like the harass off onto somebody like a Velkaz. So I feel like until like a melee matchup would actually be pretty damn good. But I mean, so far not bad. Because the good news about facing somebody like a Velkaz or a Zareth or something like that is that she's actually really damn good at um, just like avoiding damage because of her um, movement speed. So I mean, there's something to be said for that. So the movement speed is really damn good to like avoid things, but you know. Have I seen better? Yes. But I have I seen worse? Absolutely. This Q is really tough to land in lane, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Lilia, can you just piss off? Oh, I'm coming. Would have loved to get my ulti there. Oh, I could have totally ulted. But would I be able to dive underneath the turret? Probably not. But I really, really wanted to try it. I'm not gonna lie. My thoughts were there, people. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Ow. Woo! Oh my word. Okay. Lily has got some damage, apparently. Ho oh, ho We take those, people. We take those. <laughs> Damn! Alright. So, I mean, we're 4, 1, and 2. Loving that. The Electrocute. See, yeah, that's why I thought that Electrocute would be pretty decent on her. Because you've got that, like, pretty solid combo. Oh, she's totally dead, though. Woohoohoo! The Lilia Rome, ladies and gentlemen. The Lilia Rome. I don't think her W can jump over walls, though. No. Man, if the Lilia W could jump over the wall, that would be sick. I think she might that not be, like, overpowered, but that would be... That would be a strong champion if she could do that. I don't know why I was expecting her Q to heal, right? Yeah, I feel like a Lich Bane's gonna be pretty good too. So I'm thinking Leandri's Rod of Ages, an Hourglass is also really good just basically by the, um, just because of the Velkaz. Because of course Velkaz has that innate ability to cast that ulti. We're gonna try some things here. Oof. Oof. Man. I mean, I bet the cool part about her mid is that, man, you can dodge everything. 
Like, holy! Like, your movement speed is so nuts that, like, for somebody like a Velkos to actually, like, hit you with abilities, that actually seems pretty damn tough. Man, that's crazy. Okay. So, we're 7 1 and 2. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, this is so not good. Ah, oh, so close. So close. Uh oh. Okay. Don't want to take any more damage. Leave me alone. Okay, so that's coming up really, really soon, by the way. I'm just saying. I think, does that give me enough for... Oh, it gives me enough for Leandris. And the dragon is up, by the way. I'm just saying. We don't have to go for the dragon, but I really want to go for the dragon. Okay. So let's get the Leandris. That's going to be some pretty beastly damage. The funny thing is, though, I feel like the Leandris is really not necessary this game because no one's really tanky other than the Leona, and we should have been going Morel and Amicon to deal with the Sorak. But <laughs> you folks wanted it. Okay, so... Oh, come on now. I'm not going to go in on that. Not with the Leona sitting right there. Oh! Oh! I mean, we take those. We absolutely take those. Ow. Oh boy! This is where the fight happens, people. This is where this is gonna go down. You do not know how badly I want to go in. But you also don't- Oh, God! Oh! Uh oh Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. There it is. Oh. 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 <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Lilia. Unfortunately, we lost the dragon, though, which is kind of a piss off. But I mean, we're 11, 1, and 3, so... Meh. I'll, I'll take those. We take those every day of the week. Um, okay, what are we thinking here? I feel like Hourglass is gonna be really damn good. So I think I'm gonna just get that for right now, just because it's really gonna benefit me. How fast is this ball, is the question. Oh, never mind. It apparently does not even matter how fast the ball is because the Velkaz is going to take down the Leona. It's all good! <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to get a control ward on the Baron. Because that is the next major objective here. And I feel like I might be able to set up a gank. Oh, God. Definitely mid. Definitely mid. Hmm. Woo -hoo -hoo. Move my little goaty legs. Now, does this cause this? Oh, all enemy man. Okay. I didn't know it was all enemy champions. I thought it was just one. So if you jump in there with like your Q or something like that, if you just chuck out like a Q that hits like three people, and then you use that. I mean, she should be caught out here, right? Unless she goes all the way around, which she did. 
super unfortunate. <laughs> oh, there's the damage, though. Hmm. Oh, God! Oh, man, there it is. Oh, we are doing some damage now, people. <laughs> All right. So the Lilia mid, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Go. Oh. Oh god! Ah! Still alive. Okay. Oh, and the Ezreal paid for it with his life! Okay. Time to go back. We're 12-1-4. Like, hot diggity damn. Let's do that. And let's chuck this! Go, my ball! Spirit bomb! Huh? Yeah! <laughs> Interrupted! Get wrecked! <laughs> I don't even know if I beat this Leon in a fight. Like, we might not. Oh, I'm gonna miss that. That sucks. Where did... Okay, Leon, I think, used that blast gun? Man, the magic crit on that. Like, damn. Hitting people in the center with that W does, like, an ungodly amount of damage. Ruh! That's nuts. Oh, God. Let's maybe... Oh, God. Team is getting engaged on. I'm coming, team! My goaty legs can only take me so far so fast. Ow. Ow. They had it warded! <laughs> Leon actually played that really well. She looked so scared going to that bush. She was like, ah, 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 ah. And then, yeah, they 100% they had that warded. So I ended up just sitting there. Sitting there looking like a damn fool. <laughs> okay, we got the hourglass. That's going to be really beneficial. So I can actually make some pretty... I'm debating here. Because could I make some really aggressive plays? Like jump in there get a Q off, which is going to hit everybody. I feel like the wombo combos that you could do on this champion could be impressive, but you need your team to be with you on it. Because I feel like if I jump in there, I get a Q on everybody. Like, all five people get hit by Q. It puts the dust on them. Then I activate the Litting Lullaby, which will make everybody drowsy and then they fall asleep and then blow everybody up with damage. I feel like that's kind of the way that we go. I think this is going to work. I'm going to try to do this at some point. At some point in the game, we will get a five-man ultimate with this Q. I'm calling it. Mark it on your calendar, people. Or at least four. Leona's currently not here. So I feel like we should just be doing this. Nope, nobody, nobody wants to join me. Yay! Okay, I like Ash. <laughs> Like, my damage is so good, even on something like a dragon. That's nuts. Well, you know how much I want to steal this, right? Right, we, we all know this. This is... We need this. We need this. There we go. That feels better. That feels better! Okay. Ooh, looks like... Is the fight happening? Whoop! Not enough to get through the Soraka. Worth a shot, though. Ooh. If only they didn't have a Raka. Uh-oh. Ow! Stop shooting me with things. We do have so many slows on this team, though. I 
I don't trust that the Leona isn't just gonna come out from like absolute nowhere and kill all of us. Oh, there we go. There's some damage. Oh, there's the Leona. Yeah, I figured this was gonna happen at some point. Now we're just waiting for that Leona ult. We are 100% overstaying, and I love it. There it is. Oh, that was it, people! Woo! Damn, that was a huge freaking play! Oh my god, that was gigantic! I don't even really know what happened there. I gotta be honest, I have no real idea how that all panned out. But I mean, once again, I've got percentage HP damage, so taking objectives is pretty damn good. Like, look at how fast it's melting. Woo. Yeah, basically with Lilia, if you land an ability on a champion, it applies Dream Laden Bow or Dream Dust, which deals 5% of their max health damage over 3 seconds. But then if you activate your R, everybody who has the Dream Dust on them becomes drowsy for 1.5 seconds, then they fall asleep for 2.5 seconds, and when they wake up by damage, it deals like 300 additional damage. So it's kind of similar to like a Zoe bubble. Right, so if you like land it on somebody and then you use an ability, it wakes them up and like does way more damage. So it's kind of like the sleepy trouble bubble, is kind of the idea. But man, we're already 14, 2, and 6. Like that's kind of disgusting, isn't it? Boom! Dude, the clear is so good. Like, I mean, that clear is nuts. Oh ho ho! Oh my god, the damage. The damage is so good. Like, you just land, like, one Q, and then you have so much movement speed to basically just get away from everything else. Oh, there it is! Woo! Oh, there it was. So we landed a really solid E onto the Velkos and felt like that was just kind of... That was the opportunity. Oh! Oh, we landed on the Ezreal. But I don't think we're actually going to be able to get to him. Oh, there it is. Woo! Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. I'm loving Lilia. <laughs> actually an insane champion. I think we're probably going to be able to end the game here. Man, 16-2-8 absolutely nutty nutty freaking I'm so excited to see the damage though man this champion is so much fun so mid lane might very well even be better than jungle I don't know I feel like that's really tough to decide but let's go check the damage charts to see how well we did this game as for a mid laner did we stack up like that's the curious thing we got to figure out if we stacked up against this Velka so 16 2 and 8 168 CS in terms of the damage Man, we did so much! 31,312 damage. Like, man, Lilia's pretty damn strong, I've gotta be honest. If you build her full AP, you can play her mid, you can play her jungle. Nice champion, Riot Games. Nice champion. <laughs>